So welcome back to the Bagger Dave's legendary Burger Tavern channel. My name is Jimmy Ludwig. My name is Mark Aldrich, and we are the Happy Hour Guys. And don't forget the bar here at Bagger Dave's. They don't just have craft beer here. They have other craft spirits as well, and one of our favorites is bourbon. How do you taste a bourbon? What's a great way to introduce yourself to a bourbon? Do you know any way to do that? It's funny you should ask that. I've, um... I ask a lot of funny things, don't I? I've heard there's a very special Kentucky-approved method of tasting and appreciating your bourbon, and it is called the, the Kentucky, Kentucky Chew. Chew. Yes. The Kentucky Chew, well, you know what? We've met someone else who knows the Kentucky Chew really well and actually teaches it all around the country. We would like to introduce you to our friend, Fred No, who is the great-grandson of Jim Beam himself. This little four-step process that my dad, Booker No, taught me works pretty good. By the way, that good-looking guy across the table from me is Mark. Oh, and the one next to him is Bernie Lubbers, who's a master ambassador for Jim Beam. And keep in mind, when we're tasting bourbon, there's no better or worse, just different. At this level, it's all good. One other thing, when Fred talks about his dad, he's talking about Booker No, the guy who's responsible for creating this. Wow. All right, let's get on with the tasting. It's pretty simple, really. The first thing you want to do is look at the color. You'll see different shades of amber, mm -hmm. some darker, some lighter. Your lighter colored glasses are going to be lighter flavored whiskeys. As they get deeper, darker in color, you're going to be more complex in flavor, usually meaning more age, uh, longer time in the barrel gives it more color. Next thing, now after that, I kind of, what's he going to teach me? But anyway, he did teach me something on nosing the bourbon. When you stick your nose into these glasses, part your lips. If you keep your lips closed, you're going to get more of the alcohol in the scent. If you keep your lips tightly closed, the way Dad explained it is, you know, he talked in kind of while. He said, you get too much alcohol up and you snoot. If you keep your lips and do that, you'll notice more alcohol goes up into your nose. Parting the lips during the nosing will greatly affect the way it smells to you. And then the next step, you know, is the tasting. There's a little trick that my dad always did when he tasted. I call this uh, tasting technique, and people have named it way before I came along, the Kentucky Chew. What you want to really do on your tasting part is to involve your entire mouth into the tasting. And so how Booker would involve his mouth, put the bourbon in your mouth and chew on it, like this. That's good. <laughs> but what you want to do is get it on the roof of your mouth, the sides, all over your tongue. Because different parts of your mouth pick up different flavors. So you want to let your entire mouth pick up the flavor. Then when you swallow the juice down, the flavor that leaves behind, that's the finish. That's the fourth step on tasting the bourbon. Now one thing I tell people, if you taste the bourbon and make a face, if you grimace, if it hurts you, Cut it down to where it's pleasing to your palate. Mm. If somebody tells you there's a right way to taste bourbon, they're wrong. <laughs> the only right way to taste any spirit, especially bourbon, is however you like it. If you want to add a splash of soft drink, it's okay. We've got no rules at drinking bourbon. I mean, if you want, my mom drinks her bourbon with ginger ale. I never saw my dad give her a hard time. So if that's the way you want to drink it, it's okay. As we always say, if you can't trust the people who make it, you're drinking the wrong thing. So the bottom line is there's lots of different ways to enjoy a new bourbon, and this is one of the best. So here's a little cheat sheet just to send you on your way. The Kentucky Chew. Swirl the bourbon in the glass, then breathe in the aroma. Take a sip, swish the bourbon around all parts of your mouth, swallow it down, and enjoy. And we will see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers. It really works. It really works. It does work. It really works.